ACT Math here talking basic fractions. You know, if you still struggle with fractions or you're just beginning, this is going to be the video for you. Let's take a look. The way I look at fractions, or the way I learned to look at fractions, was my teacher told me, hey, it's the numerator over the denominator. Well, that didn't make any sense to me until my mom explained later when we were eating pizza, Michelangelo's that night, that that's how many slices I can eat over how many slices came with the pie. It's that simple. Well, let's take a look at some pizzas down here. All right, we have a nice big pie over here, and I think I could eat one, two, three, four of those slices. So four of those slices that I could eat is four, that's on the top, the numerator, over there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total slices, there we go. Let's look at this next pie. I can eat two of these slices, so that's two out of four total slices. And in the last pie, I can eat one slice, which is one out of two total slices. Now we can see that it is the same amount of pizza that we are eating each time, even though the fractions are different. But the fractions aren't different. They are equivalent. And in the word equivalent, we can almost see equal. So four-eighths is equal to two-fourths, which is equal to one-half. They are equivalent fractions. Let's show you how. This four reduces, it goes into itself one time, and goes into this eight two times. This two reduces, it goes into itself one time, and it goes into this four two times. So they are all equal to one half when they are in lowest terms. Hopefully that helps clear things up a little bit. Also in pizzas, you need to remember, in fractions, you can have pizzas with as many slices as you want. You just might have to break it up really small and somehow be creative with it. But you can have denominators of all sorts of numbers. I wouldn't mind finding a pizza with 305 slices. Let's just keep on going. If you don't like the pizza example, let's look at money. Okay, everybody likes money. So let's look at 50 cents to be in particular here. And when we think of fractions and money, you just need to think change, okay? You need to realize that everything is out of 100 when we're talking a dollar bill. So there's 100 pennies in a dollar bill. We can talk fractions out of 100. Here we go. Let's talk 50 cents. In 50 cents, we know two quarters. There are four quarters total. Two of them makes 50 cents. So two out of four quarters. If we're talking 50 cent pieces, well, one 50 cent piece makes 50 cents. And there are two 50 cent pieces that make up a dollar. If we're talking dimes, one, two, three, four, five dimes make up 50 cents. And there are 10 dimes that make up a dollar. If we're talking nickels, we can go 10 nickels is 50 cents, and there are 20 nickels that make up a dollar. Well, let's look at our last example of change down here. Let's talk pennies. In pennies, you should all know that 50 pennies, 30, 40, 50, make up a dollar. So 50 out of a hundred, because that's what we're talking, cents, a hundred cents in a dollar, all of them reduce to one half. They're all equivalent. So hopefully that's a good way for you to kind of simplify how you look at fractions. You could think about money, or you could think about pizza. Either way, those are good thoughts. Hope that helps.